Okay, we are uh, live, we're on the road, we just uh, got on the freeway at the uh, punch bowl entry. We're on our way to uh, the uh, Halaba Depot where um, things, property seized under the Bill 54 Ordinance uh, 11-029 are recovered. Um, so I wanted to get the stream going uh, so you get an idea of where it is and how far away it is. I'm, I'm with uh, Laulani who's uh, driving here. <laughs> I think it's important too to uh, recognize that this is after much has already been done in the process. In order to get these items back, we, I had to call steadily for several days. Uh, at first with no answer and no ability to leave a message on the answering machine. Um, when I finally did reach someone, I needed to make an appointment for a specific time. As you can see, there's traffic, so it's pretty much impossible to gauge the specific time that you will actually be there because of the level of traffic involved. And we're not even close yet. This is the kind of thing that um, that people have to go through if they want to pick up their items from the city and county after they have been impounded under the ordinance. Uh, is Eleven dash zero two nine. Eleven dash zero two nine. You know, and uh, when I spoke with Dr. Wesley Chun and asked him, well, you know, do you think this is really reasonable for houseless people? to do this kind of, this level of um, hassle, you know, to call for that many days, many of them don't even have cell phones, um, then make an appointment and be on time for the appointment, given that there's no bus that goes to the area, and that the bus doesn't allow more than what you can fit under your seat on the bus. Is this really reasonable? And he said, well, the houseless people must not want their stuff back. And he says they don't want their stuff back because they haven't been calling to set up the appointments. Now, I think the logical flaw in that is fairly obvious. It's fairly obvious. Why on earth would you, if you were a houseless person, even if you had a cell phone for which you're probably paying by the minute, why would you go through this level of hassle just to come this far out to the side of the island to um, be able to get your stuff which you can't take back on the bus? How could you possibly get it back on the bus? So would they bother to call? What would be the point? That would, was uh, my next question. To which she said, well, he disagreed. Uh, so he thought that they do have some way of getting uh, the stuff back. And he cited the example of one service provider, one service provider, who went out of her way to help a client to go and go through the process so that he could get his housing back, being his tent. Now... I don't think that service provider realized that she was going to be used as an example of how the system works because she went so far out of her way. I believe, you know, having been a service provider myself, I believe it was probably on her own time. I doubt that she got paid for that. I think she was going out of her way over and beyond the call of duty to help her client, which is awesome, but it's not awesome when it's used by the city and county to justify how the system works because one person does this heroic effort to pick up their stuff. So in this case, um, we've been trying to get back these banners for how long is it? What's today? Let's see. Today is the 11th. They were seized illegally on April 30th. That's 12 days. Yeah, so they've been held for 12 days, and every single day I have personally made an effort to get them back. 
I have not been successful until today. So, uh, Mr. Alan Santo, who's in charge of the yard out there, says that he will give it back. And I believe that he is actually quite anxious to return my items to me, especially as he was notified that he is going to be videotaped. Um, from what I've heard, he's actually tried to stop people from videotaping when they've tried to pick up their items in the past. However, I called him up and notified him that I will not be stopped and that it is my right to videotape. And um, I, he didn't have a good counter for that. And so I think he understands that there is no way that he is physically able to stop us from videotaping this encounter. So that's why he's allowing this, quote unquote. Um, and so it hopefully will be a short one because I don't think he wants to be on video for a long time. I'd like to be able to check the banners uh, immediately to see uh, if they're intact and haven't been damaged. No. Right. So let's have Mr. Sato open them up for us and uh, check them since obviously they are still impounded until we get them. I, I get the feeling that we may have to unfold them up, so well, we'll I don't think we'll they'll see. touch it. We'll see. You know, another flaw in the system that the person you have to call is the person who sees the tent in the first place. One D and E, yeah. yeah. Alaba, yeah. One D. Yes, yeah. um, yeah, no, we will. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this area because this is the exact same area where. Um, I was participating in the block, in the um, protests to, against the H3 freeway, which is right over there. That's H3, it went up and Very going up, through. Uh, three. And that, um, that freeway destroyed a whole bunch of cultural sites, including two major Heyal complexes. Um, so have, I'm still a caretaker in that area. I still go there, especially to document, and um, so I'm pretty familiar with the area, unfortunately. Now my understanding is your son was actually born at that time. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how public that was. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're, we're off the freeway, we're heading towards the depot. Now, as I was saying, if, if you were a homeless person and you could go through all this and you get your home back, your tent, and they allow it back on the bus where, where you've come. Tents um, are not allowed on the bus. And they're not a allowed on the bus. So somehow you get a ride, uh, you get the tent, and then where do you put the tent? Because it was seized. Where can you put the tent oh, where it's not subject to seizure? Well, that's that's kind of the question of the day because that's a problem. Okay, we have uh, we're if you just joined us, we're on our way to the uh, Halava, the city's Halava Depot to reclaim banners that were taken uh, for at the Occupy Honolulu. Now, there's a uh, theft complaint against. Um, Yeah, there we go. A theft complaint pending against um, the city and county. The city and county in West Chun is it, is that still uh, pending? Did they did they even uh, log yes, it? Uh, yeah, I did make a police report and I have the report number. I haven't heard anything back yet. Now we have we have video of of the crews under his direction targeting. Uh, yeah, it's up here. Targeting that one tent that had uh, uh, a banner. I, I hate to call it a banner, although it's banner-like. It's really a painting of a piece I, of I art. I just want to. I just want to note that. Sorry, it just isn't. I don't mean to interrupt, but um, all this way that we're driving right now uh, would have to be walked. Okay, it's off the bus. So this is yeah. The bus. The bus does not come up this way. So just so that people understand that a houseless person would have to walk all this way to come get their stuff and then they would have to walk all the way back down so that's um 
that's something to keep in mind. Now, I've asked uh, several people several times, including the mayor. I think it's here, yeah? Do you know this is not actually? I think I went further up last time. Oh really? Time. Yeah. <coughs> not I'm, this. Not this department yeah, of city no. maintenance. No, it was another. It okay, was another. So we're taking a tour then of the department of maintenance for the city and county of Honolulu. These are, these are the trucks that come and uh, raid. Uh, not only deoccupy but. Um, Houseless encampments. Houseless uh, everywhere. Encampments. Oh, wait, can throughout. I it that way? Okay. I guess, I think so. It looks like this is a one way kind of thing. <coughs> There's the administration office, so. Oh, that's probably where um, Alan has come from. Okay, well, maybe we can just pull up right in front of it. I went further up. Well, it says administration, and this is this is city and county. This is the right department, right? You see them anywhere? No. Uh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna pull up right between these trucks here, not seeing a better place. Alan Sato. Yeah. Out of here. What are you doing? Uh, for city and county, um, what is it? Uh, the the depot. I don't know. We're trying to recover some property. We're trying to recover some property. I'm sorry, can't hear. Oh, we're trying to. We're, the the uh, Alan Sato is with the what is he? Department of. You know. The facilities. Um, I don't know if it, it might be facilities and. Uh, City and County Department of. You have another f place up the yeah, street. This is wastewater right here. Huh? Oh, this is wastewater. Yeah. Okay, where's the where's the city and county where's the um department the facilities department? Facility maintenance. Yeah. I think so. They have a base yard. You might want to go up to the next fence. Yeah, uh, I think it's the next. With all the mechanics and AES all yeah. the motor shop and there. Okay, thank you. Thanks. How do we get out? This way. If we came in, we can get up there and make a right. Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, we came in, but. Okay. You know, wastewater, houseless people. Same thing, huh? You gotta do it that way. Wait, that way and then. Yeah, and then way. back right. on EYN. And then one more up, oh, pretty sure. I was able to uh, recover a number of tents um, after more than 30 days, after it was about 45 days. I had to produce uh, credit card receipts, which luckily I had. Um, credit card receipts. One more up. Okay. That one says facility maintenance, no? Well, we'll go to the... We'll go to where... where go? Yeah, we'll go to where... Um, I have the address actually on my phone, <laughs> which I'm using. We're on our way to, I think it might be... Here? Oh, here it is, yeah. here it is. Oh. Here it is. 99, huh? 99. This, oh. Next one. Next, Next one. one. Thank you. Ah, here's the big sign. Department of Facility Maintenance Palava Corporation Yard. Okay. Well, this gentleman seems to know what we're here for. That's Alan. Oh, that's Alan. No. Okay. There's Alan. There's Alan Sato. As soon as Aloha's shirt, he's not raiding today. No raids today. <laughs> okay. And then we got to we got to well, park he right here. He knows he's gonna be on video, so he might as well. He <laughs> <laughs> dressed up. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is the official loading zone. So this is where, after you make an appointment... So basically, um, that entire distance that we covered just now, especially the stretch from the last intersection, is the distance that a houseless person would have to walk in order to recover their home, um, which they, again, would not be able to take on the bus. And so, therefore, it is basically impossible for them to, in practical terms, recover their belongings at all. Okay. You know, and then if there's a problem with signing, you, you, I'll no, sign it. You sign no, under no, it because no, I can, no, no, no. I can produce the, uh, I can produce a uh, ID and that kind of stuff. I'll kind of tag behind you because then. Okay, 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 that's fine. So here we are at the Department of Facilities Maintenance, and um, they say that they have the, the banners. Um, so we'll uh, we'll check them out, and then we will hopefully be getting them. Hello. Are you Lalani? Yes, I'm yes, Lalani. You're right for one of these items. Yes, I am. I can see a photo ID. You're gonna take a picture of my ID. Yeah, I need that. You know, that's that's kind of like personal information that uh, that's being stored by the city and county. I feel a little funny about that. That's the procedure. That's all I can say. Oh, how come? That's what my order was. That was it was your orders to me. Give it to me. Uh huh. By who? Who makes that? Or who makes that procedure? I'm just wondering. Uh, I was just given the order from uh, our director. Who's that? Wesley Chan? Yeah. So is he the guy who makes the procedures? Uh, he works with Corp Council on uh, everything legal, the procedure and how we do it. Okay, well how do how am I assured that my identity isn't going to be stolen? Uh, I can assure you that it's going to be only on this camera unless it's stolen from somewhere else. Okay, so you're telling me that who has who has charge of that camera? Me, personally. Only you, personally. Yeah. And you're not going to share it with anybody. What about Wesley Chun? <laughs> Wesley Chun doesn't really like me so much, you know. No, no, he, he does. He, it's not. It's not. It's not personal. No, no, it's not personal. Although, well, you know, people I just don't want my identity to be stolen. You know what I mean? It stays, it stays with me, and it only gets turned over to Park Town. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's determined that you are not the right person. I see, I see. So okay, somebody okay, well, claims that, you know, if you're giving me your word, I'll yeah. take your word yeah. for it. That's my uh, ID. Yeah. Are there three, should be three pieces in all. Uh, yeah, there's supposed to be three. That should, I, I told them all. Oh, wait, 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 before I go give okay. you my okay. ID and everything, I'd like to see the banners, I'd like to make sure it's the right one. There it is, right there's there. only one, one here. Yeah, but this is the other one. Oh, okay. there's the other one. Okay, so here, can you hold, can you hold one side for me? I don't want to hold them and you tell me all the time. Okay, put, put it down. We can put it really? down. I'm going to get it. Really? Hey, hell, I'll hold one side. Come on, come on. Come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this will look good. This is actually yeah. really yeah. good. That's what you're supposed to support this kind of stuff. It's upside down. It's upside down. It's upside down. upside down. Oh, okay, you're right. Eva. Eva. <laughs> that is the banner by uh, Michael Daly. I'm going to get up close too so that we can see. Who drew this? Michael Daly. Nice. And I want to I want to show that which was uh, first uttered where? At Thomas Square. And where was this stolen? King Kamehameha III. This, that's where this was taken from. So this was taken from the very place where this was um, where this was uttered. It had not been there for 24 hours. Right. It was uh, illegally seized, stolen. Damage free. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay. Okay. So this, it's in decent shape. I just want to make sure nothing is fucked up. You know. Yeah, really big, much bigger than that. The only one we got? What? This is the only thing that was in that camp? No, there was another one. There was one. a real huge one. Sustainability. Yeah. Okay, so 
And this one is the one by Raul Gonzalez. I should say kind of by Mama Lahoy. Hey, we should let these guys see too, because this is this is impressive. Okay, well we'll turn it around. Okay. Hold it up so that you make sure. Okay. I don't see damage. Wait, hold on, let me make sure the thing is not because it wasn't supposed to be you know, the paint wasn't even dry yeah. when when the thing was taken and so I gotta make sure that you know what, I'm sorry, but please it's really hard to tell whether it was damaged or not. Again, the, 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 the paint wasn't even dry on this. We're at the uh, Halava yeah, Depot, no, no, city and county of Honolulu. This was seized less than 24 hours from its creation, illegally from uh, Thomas Square. Laulani, while we have it open, explain a little bit about the significance of the just kind of by Mama. Okay. While well, it's not rolling up, I'll tell, that. I'll okay. tell you about it. This was painted by an internationally acclaimed indigenous artist named Raul Gonzalez. Um, and it's to celebrate Kanovai Mamalahoi, the law of the splintered paddle. That law was declared by Kamehameha the I um, as the first law of the kingdom, of the newly united kingdom of Hawaii. Um, the law says that every man, woman, child, elderly person may lie in the road literally without threat of harm by the government or anyone with any force. And that, um, that they must not be harmed in any way or bothered or disturbed. It says, you know, and it, it just uses the word pilikia. So no pilikia must come to them. They should be safe in the road. So anyone who harms them, takes their possessions, um, bothers them, disturbs them in any way is, is wrong. And in that law, it says the last line is, have, have a no make, which means break this law and die. It's a very, very serious law. So, okay, I, I'd, I'd like to have it on record also that, um, that this, uh, that there is a banner missing. The Pacific Sustainability Center. I don't know anything about that. that one, it yeah. should have been in bin number 78 with the others. So I don't know if it was taken or what, but it was supposed to be there. Okay, and again, uh, you're guaranteeing me that this is not to be, uh, that my ID is not to be shared yeah. or um, with anybody but yourself. That's right. All right. Unless it becomes a legal issue where somebody comes to say and say, what happened to my banner, it becomes a pretty uh, situation where we turn over all these information. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. 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 Oh, we're standing here. I'll just pan so we get an idea. <laughs> it's actually kind of nice out here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's too bad. It's gonna take him on this. I want to fill this out first. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Um. Signing for the two documents and uh, of the three. It says it's, uh, it's a release of impounded personal property. And she's just saying uh, she is the person and she's picking it up and she claims ownership. So if somebody else comes and says, hey, wait, those were my banners, you yeah. can say, well, this person claimed it and took it. So yeah. you have you a have record. Of ID and it would become a situation of investigation to the death.
Alan, you're wearing nice Aloha shirt. <laughs> you're not out in the field today. Then. No, I gotta go. Though. Yeah. A couple of hours. Oh, where are you going? Would you just go be checking some uh, roads? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, people, I think you can relax then. <laughs> Just because he's not there doesn't mean they're not going to do it. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> what, Wes can do them himself? <clears throat> Alan is adding some... Uh, text to the agreement to what she's signing out. I'll ask her to read that. If you just joined us, we're at the uh, Halava, Sidon County's Halava, what, what do you call this? A depot or a base yard? Facilities maintenance. We're picking up, uh, we're reclaiming two of the three banners. One is missing. Um, we're, uh, Laulani is signing for it. Oh, wow, chicken. Looks like mom and dad and the keiki. One, two, three, four, five. Five chicken. Signing the paper here. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Okay, I want a for? picture of this before, so I'm going to go get it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, necessarily show people. We'll go. We'll go look at look for the chickens here while well, we're. <laughs> Free range chicken. <laughs> Should all be, or actually, even if it's in the shade, you'll get a good in. Okay. Taking a picture. You want to re read the uh, text to. Uh, um. It says, I, oh, sorry, is, is it okay if I just move this so I can read? Wait, no, 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 what no, I no, wrote. No. I, I cannot put them any other place. So this is our form. And then we need to oh, put them below and then back up. Off. And then take the whole thing. I need, I need that white background. Gee, it looks like you kind of like um, white background. <laughs> I, it looks like a written on background to me. It looks like you're, uh, you know, <laughs> specifically excluding. <laughs> okay, this, it this says, is mainly for you guys, yeah. Yeah, like no, it's for you. <laughs> it's, it's for you. I disagree with being forced to go through this unreasonable and burdensome process, impossible for most houseless persons to reclaim items that were stolen from safekeeping when they had not been there for 24 hours. The paint was not even dry yeah. on these items. And there are only two of the three. Okay, can you, you can you please uh, take a take a quick picture? I'm going to uh, real quick show this one more time. I didn't get a chance to get a photograph, so okay, I'll okay. Let's see. Let me try and get. Uh, right. Okay. See you guys later. Thank okay. You. See you. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Alan. I can do uh, two cameras at one time. That is very nice. Uh, try, okay, just...
Okay, let me take a couple of shots here. Here's one. Are you able to get it? doesn't have to be backlighting, does it? No, if I get in close enough. That's good. Just let me get in close. One more. Should do it. Try check. I'm sure whatever it is is fine. I just want to get it. Okay, I think it should be okay. Okay. Okie doke. Right, it should be okay. So we have recovered. We have recovered from Vai Mamalahoy and we expect to continue to exercise it until. It is actually respected by the government that is illegally occupying our land here. It is not being respected. People are being abused in the road. And um, we intend to force them to stop, whatever that takes. Now, there's also a um, picture of the splintered paddle on all police officers' badges. That's right. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to mean much to them, and that's very sad. Getting backlighting here, but we're live. Okay, okay. well, here it is. Thank you, oh, mahalo. <laughs> Sorry. Again, as you can see in this process, um, we were able to recover our items after about a week and a half straight of constant work and effort. It took a huge, huge effort just to get these items back. Now, I want all of you to try to imagine, who are watching this live or who will watch it later, I want you to try to imagine what it would take for a houseless person with no cell phone and no transportation to try to recover their items and um, I want you to think about whether what Mr. Wesley Chun says that well they must not want those items because they don't try to go through the process is that really true or is that an excuse because um, I know that even most activists wouldn't be able to go through what I've gone through just to get these items back much less a person who doesn't even have a home because that home has been stolen, who has nothing. Their cell phone may have been stolen because everything is taken in these days. So, um, you know, in solidarity with those who are supposed to be protected by Kanawai Mamalahoy, in solidarity with our indigenous brothers and sisters, including the, the artists who painted this banner, um, and all the people who need to take back the power, uh, mahalo. Thank you. I don't want to show your car. <laughs> okay. So two out of three uh, banners recovered. I'm going to pan away as I approach the car. We're near uh, Building D, the Material Testing Laboratory. Hmm, I wonder what they test there. It's probably kind of a toxic environment. Who's that? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, mahalo everyone. And, um,. We'll be seeing you. Hopefully we won't be having too many adventures soon, <laughs> but it's very likely we will be, so we'll be seeing you then. Aloha. Thanks for joining us.